Bienvenidos, welcome to another episode of Spain on a Fork. Today we're making a Spanish inspired one pan spaghetti with a smoky tomato sauce. This is one of the easiest, most flavorful pastas ever. And since we're using the one pan method, which means the spaghetti gets cooked in the same pan as the rest of the ingredients, that way the starch stays in the dish and gives it the most incredible textures and flavors. Folks, this recipe is effortless to make, it's got a super easy cleanup, and it comes together in just 30 minutes. Really quick before we begin, a shout out to one of my patrons, James Matthew Nealon. Once again, James, thank you so much for being a patron of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. All right, let's begin by grabbing a large fry pan. Important to use a larger pan here. That way all the ingredients fit in there. Remember, this is a one pan pasta. I'm gonna heat it with a medium heat and add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 30 milliliters. While the olive oil is heating, I'm gonna roughly dice one medium sized onion, and roughly chop five cloves of garlic. After heating the olive oil between three to four minutes, it should be nice and hot, but as you can see, it's not smoking, so it hasn't lost any of its beautiful flavor. At this point, I'm gonna add in the diced onion, and the chopped garlic. And start mixing the garlic and onion around with the olive oil. As you know, I always like to mix this continuously, that way nothing burns and everything evenly sautés. After about four minutes, and those onions are nice and translucent, and the garlic is lightly sauteed, I'm gonna add in two teaspoons of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is about two and a half grams, what we call here in Spain, pimentón de la vera. And I'm gonna give this a quick mix, that way that paprika is coating the garlic and onion. Then I'm gonna add in a 14 and a half ounce can of tomato sauce, which is 410 grams. You can also use pasata and a 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes, which once again, weighs in at 410 grams. We'll season everything with one teaspoon of dried thyme, which is about one gram, a pinch of sea salt, some freshly cracked black pepper, and a pinch of white sugar to cut the acid from the tomatoes and we'll give this a mix. That way all the ingredients are evenly mixed together and simmer it on a medium heat just for a couple minutes. After about four minutes and that tomato sauce has slightly thickened up, I'm gonna add in two cups of vegetable broth, which is 475 milliliters. Now the broth that I'm using is homemade. You'll find a link on how to make it in the iCard above. You can substitute the broth for the same amount of water with a little sea salt, but by using the broth, it really elevates the flavors of this pasta dish. And we'll also pinch in a quarter teaspoon of saffron threads, which is 0.17 grams. You'll find a link where you can get the saffron threads I'm using from Golden Saffron in the description box below. And we'll raise the heat from a medium heat to a high heat. And we'll give this a quick mix and bring it to a boil. Once the broth comes to a boil, it's time to add in the spaghetti. I'm just gonna be using your standard uncooked spaghetti here. I'm gonna grab eight ounces, which is about 225 grams, and add it into the pan. And as you can see, the spaghetti doesn't fit perfectly into the pan. That's not a big deal. As it starts cooking and softening up, you start mixing it around, and then it'll all fit inside of the pan. That way it's evenly cooking in that broth. Now, some of you might be asking, why not just break the noodles apart? Because the beauty of spaghetti is having those long noodles. If you have to break them apart, what's the point in using spaghetti? Now, the secret here is to mix the spaghetti noodles every minute or so. That way they all evenly cook and they don't stick to each other. After about eight minutes, and you can see that the majority of the broth has been absorbed by the spaghetti, but there's still plenty of broth left. I'm gonna place a lid on the pan and lower the fire from a high heat to a low medium heat. And we're gonna simmer this between three to four minutes on a low medium heat or until the majority of that broth has been absorbed by the spaghetti. This is gonna be the exact timing to end up with perfectly cooked al dente spaghetti. 
After about three minutes, that spaghetti should be perfectly cooked al dente and this pasta dish ready to go. I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat. Then we'll mix the spaghetti around. That way all the noodles are coated in that smoky tomato sauce. We'll finally grate some manchego cheese over the pasta. The one that I'm using has been aged for six months, so it's got a nice bite to it, but it's not overpowering. You can use whatever cheese you like. And we'll sprinkle it with some finely chopped parsley, our Spanish-inspired one-pot spaghetti with a smoky tomato sauce is done. So easy to put together, incredible aromas coming out of it. Let's give it a try and see how it tastes. This came out looking so delicious. Here we go. It is so good. This spaghetti's beautifully cooked. It's got some bite to it, but it's fully cooked through. Then you have that tomato sauce with all that pimenton in it, the smoked paprika, the broth, the saffron, and then that kiss of manchego cheese. Truly an explosion of so much goodness. You saw this, very easy to make. All done using just one pan for an easy cleanup, and it comes together in just 30 minutes, in my opinion. It does not get better than this. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, you know what to do, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.